In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to model this really cool concrete modernist villa inside of Revit. I found this project and I thought it would be a great topic for a Revit gameplay tutorial. Let's go. Now quickly, before we jump into Revit, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, balkanarchitect.com. I'm going to link it up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. If you're serious about learning Revit, that's definitely the best place to be with over 140 hours of content dedicated to all of the interesting and complex features inside of Revit. Also there you can find some of our customized Revit templates, some high quality Revit families and plugins. Now, without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit, and this is what I'm going to be using kind of as a base. So here we have just some uh, lines sketched out. We have a floor plan loaded in, and then also here, if I open up this section, we have a section image loaded in as well, just to help us out with kind of as a reference. So first let's create the main wall. So as you can see, this wall is supposed to go from uh, level minus one all the way up to level two. So I'm just going to start in level one, go to the wall tool, and then let's pick out a larger wall. So 300 millimeter concrete wall. For the location line, let's set that to finish face exterior, and then let's use a rectangle. So now I'm just going to change the base constraint from minus one and all the way to, to go to level two. And then let's go like this. Now, if it's going to the outside, you just hit the space key to flip it towards the inside. And we have that main wall hit the escape key a couple of times. Now let's do the inner walls. So that's going to be these walls here. Now they're a bit thinner. So for those, let's go again with the wall tool. Let's pick out the 200 millimeter type. And this one we're going to set from minus one all the way to level one. So basically we're kind of going in depth. So let's set this to finish face exterior as well. And then Oops, let's use the rectangle tool. There we go. And then just place that wall. I think it got messed up when I changed the wall. So let's set this back to go from minus one to one and place that wall. Now we get this warning saying that it's not visible. That's okay if we hit the escape key a few times and open up the section, we can see that wall over here and here. Moving forward, let's do the first floor. So I'm going to go to level one, go to architecture, then go to the floor tool, and then let's pick out the 150 millimeter uh, floor. And then I'm just going to use a simple rectangle and place it here just like that, and then hit finish. It's going to give us a message that we want to attach. I do not want to attach. And then let's make the floor below kind of like a foundation. So for that architecture floor, and then let's use again a rectangle. And then I'm just going to do one here and then one here, or actually it should go to the inside of the this wall. So let me do that again, because we cannot pick that wall here in this view. Let's try opening up the level minus one. So yes, here we can see that wall. So let's use a rectangle here, just like that. And before we hit finish, uh, I'm just going to change the level from level one to minus one, just to make sure it's there, hit finish. And now when we go to the 3D view, this is what that looks like. And if I open up the section view, we can see we have that floor here. Now it was 150. I want it to be 300 just because it's kind of like a foundation. Moving forward, let's place these walls here. So in the interior walls going from level one up to 1.1. So I'm just going to go back to level one, zoom in a little bit, go to wall. This will be the thinnest one. So the concrete 140. Again, use the rectangle, finish face exterior, and then let's place that wall just like this here. Hit the escape key a couple of times and we have that wall now placed. Okay, moving forward, uh, the next thing that we want to place is going to be these beams up here. 
So for that, let's open up the level two floor plan. And here we can see these reference planes and we're just going to be using those well as reference. So now let's go here to structure, go to beam, and then I'm going to be using this type. However, I'm just going to make sure that the justification on the Y axis is not center, it needs to be left. Okay, so once we have that set, now I can just hover over here to this line. You can see it's going to pick this line. It's going to recognize it as uh, uh, just as a snap. So let's start from here and go like this. And as you can see, basically we've drawn this from the left side. So that's why I set the justification to the left. So we need to repeat the same thing down here at the bottom. However, we're not going to go from the left to the right because we want the justification to be on the left. So it should be towards the inside. So let's start from the right to the left and this is what we get. And now let's repeat that for this one and also for this one and then do the other sides as well. So we need this one, oops, here I made a mistake. So it should go from the bottom up and then this one should go from the top down and then repeat the same thing. So for this one from the top down and for this one from the bottom up. And now we have all of those beams in place. Hit the escape key a couple of times, go to the 3D view and this is what that looks like. Okay, moving forward, now let's uh, place the floor uh, that should be kind of uh, has a ceiling and also we need to place a roof. So actually the floor is going to be the roof and then we're going to be placing a ceiling. So let's go to level two, zoom in a little bit here, go to architecture, go to floor. I'm going to be using the smaller one, use the rectangle tool and then let's create a rectangle here, one here, one here and then just do the rest of these. Now for these down here, I can simply select these, use CO for copy, and then let's copy from here to here. Hit the escape key a couple of times, and now we have this floor. However, I'm going to first select this drawing and use Control C to copy to clipboard. I'll show you in a moment why I did this. So anyways, now hit finish. And if we go to the 3D view, this is what that looks like. If we open up the section view, you can see we have that floor here. However, we need the ceiling. So for the ceiling, I'm just going to go into level one. And now because we have copied that sketch, I can just go here to paste and then go to align to current view. And it's just going to paste that line work in hit finish and now if we open up the section, as you can see, we have that ceiling in place. Pretty cool, right? Then we need to create uh, basically a ceiling for this, which will actually have to be a floor because there is a bed here. So let's then go into level 1.1. Well, we can't really see anything. So let's try, yeah, let's go in level one, go to floor, and I'm just going to be using the same floor rectangle and just change here to 1.1 and create that rectangle, hit finish. I don't want to attach anything. And now in section, yeah, we can see that floor is here. Okay, I also want to do the, basically the walls here on top. So what I'll do is I'm just going to hover over one of these walls, hit the tab key to select the entire chain of walls, go here to copy, paste, align to selected levels, and then align that to level two. Click OK, so it's going to move it here. However, we do want to readjust it a little bit. So I want to move this in just a little bit like that. Oops, let's see. So yeah, just like this, go back to section and then select everything. So you hover over it, you hit the tab key to select everything or to highlight the entire chain and then click to select. And now we just want to move this to, yeah, it's at level three. Oh, we have a top offset. So let's change that to zero, hit enter. And then we should probably have just a small floor here. So let's actually select this floor, go then to copy, paste, align to selected levels, level three, click OK. So it's here. We just need to readjust the sketch. So for that, let's open up level three, go into edit boundary. Uh, perhaps go down to level two. So, okay, so here are the walls and then we can just move this in to those walls. See, just like this. So you move it to the walls. Let's see. 
perfect. And then let's do another rectangle. Let's give it an offset of 0.05, just five centimeters, hit the space key just like this. So this can be like a skylight or something. Uh, do not attach. Okay. Now when we go to the 3D view, yeah, we have that closed there. And finally, let's add the water. So I want to add this water and here we need to add some glass walls. So for the water, let's go into level one. I'm going to model the water as a floor. So here, if I go to floor, I have this pool floor, which is just water. And then let's use a couple of rectangles, one here, one here, and that's it. Uh, don't attach. And then also let's do those walls. So for that, let's go to wall and then switch to curtain wall, rectangle. And then we can go just like this all the way around for these kind of glass walls. Hit the escape key a couple of times, go to the 3D view. Here I can see that these glass walls don't go all the way up. So let's hover over one of them, hit the tab key to highlight all, select, and then let's set these to go to level two. That might be too high up. So that should be 1.2. Perfect. There we go. So we pretty much have our uh, concrete villa. And then perhaps we need to use the section box just so we can see that better just so we can have a peek inside. And then obviously you would have to add some doors, uh, some sort of a little bridge over this pool, so on and so forth. But this is the basic approach to creating this really interesting project inside of Revit. If you want to get access to this Revit project file or any of my other Revit project files, you can find that on my Patreon page, which I'm going to link up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.